Hey, how's everybody doing today? All right. So me being me being me. So what I wanted to do is make my own from my from the seat that I had. So I pulled all the staples out. Pretty easy. Get a small screwdriver, little pair of pliers. Bingo, you're going to need a heavy duty staple gun once you put all this back in. But I've got a good idea on how I want to do this once I do the cutout. And that's what I'm going to do. Notch this chair out. I'm sure this will be able to help a few people out. I see a lot on the internet where people want to do something. But they don't know how to go about doing it. So I figured I'd take a shot at it. Anyways, I opened it up. And this style chair has got a metal bar holding it all together. So I started cutting it out. And being that it's flat and it's on a strong surface I don't have to worry about it wobbling around from the looks of it and if I do at work what I'll do is I'm gonna make a metal bar and drill it in to give it extra support and it will be a kind of a u-shaped but that's if I need to go there so anyways this is where I am I hacksawed it pretty simple I'm going to take this out. I'll saw this piece out, a circle. I've got plenty of extra material on here. I'm going to cut the foam. And I'll pull and stretch everything back in. I've got a heat gun that'll get this stuff pretty loosened up and, and flexible. And hopefully it won't look half bad. So you guys are going to get to go through this whole process with me because I'm going to film the whole thing. So when I get on to the next step, I'll stop videoing this again. And I actually have my normal area back over here. Yeah, I still have to put the monitors all back up. And like I said, one thing at a time. I'm actually going to get ready to go to my other job. So, yo, it's looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with how things are coming out. The notch that I'm going to put in this chair is probably going to be around five inches wide. That's what I'm shooting for. I know you're probably seeing that padding over there. That's just a padding for some reason. The back end of it, and it is the back end. I thought it went to the front, but it goes to the back. It's got some kind of, I don't know, ash cheat cut out. Maybe a release hatch. I, I have no idea what that is, but it worked out good. So here we are. And like I said, we'll be back when I get on to the next step, get this cut out and whatever happens, and give you a step-by-step -step on if you want to do it. We'll do a walkthrough on it. Doesn't cost a penny if you got a hacksaw, staple gun, and a little bit of patience. We'll see you in a few. Okay, here I am making more of a mess. All right, I cut this out. I know, in the, I know they look a little smaller, but in the uh, in the planes, they're not quite as wide because you're only putting really the extension through there but the bar that you can see everything's wider on this so i just wanted to give it plenty of clearance and i'm also going to wrap some rubber i'm going to get i've got some rubber foam half inch rubber foam that i'm going to put all the way around this it's basically what you would put over like um you would put over like copper pipes for insulation well you take that i got a good idea you take that and you put it over that, staple it down. It'll give that nice round effect to it. This has got plenty of strength. It's not wobbly at all. So what I decided to do was go with a heavier rubber. I'm using a rubber tubing to put around the cutout. It'll take the sharpness off the edges. Put a little tape on there to also help with that. And I'm using some tie downs move them off just to hold everything right in place I'll put this all the way around it'll close the gap up a little bit anyways I wanted to shrink this hole down some and I also wanted to give it more of a smooth rounded natural look like the regular flight chair ejection seat whatever you want to call it has so I grabbed some packing foam stuff is really durable and did some stapling 
as you can see around the back I'm not done okay so I finished up stapling everything to the plywood yeah I put some wire ties around the metal and put some little eyelet holes through the it's kind of like quarter inch plywood I wanted to reinforce it so nice sturdy very strong although there really, really isn't much weight that goes on there but anyways trimmed it up I could trim it a little tighter but there's really no need for it take a look at the bottom okay so here we are at the bottom I've just I'm gonna trim a little bit off of this corner uh, this one seems okay but I do like the shape of it I like how it comes down on the angle on each side once the once the artificial leather is folded over stapled in heated folded over and stapled in um, the adhesive glue on it is gonna bond even better took a few days to get the they call it artificial leather basically it's vinyl it isn't gonna have the stitching in it but at least it's just not gonna be showing the foam in the middle okay so here we are I think I'm pretty much done I'm, I'm not a professional leather worker um, I'm pretty happy with the way it came out I haven't put heat on it yet and done any shaping but I might not even do it I mean I'm just gonna sit my, my ass on it so what I'm gonna do now is try to find where I can get the it almost looks like the inside of a, a leather jacket the sheep type fur that goes down on those seats so I can cover up everything that I worked on and it will have the cutout in it already and that'll pretty much be it for this so that's just Amazon I'll put a link in, in this video where you can pick these things up basically all you need is the leather uh, you're gonna need a hacksaw and, and a couple other little tools household tools you might have around to cut out the chair but all together is not a lot to it it just it's better than nothing I might even get one of those I was looking at what is it called the HF8 or something like that the thing that vibrates no not that thing the other thing the, the seat pad that vibrates that gives you like you know like you're in the jet and I was looking at some videos of that last night and people really said it they, they kind of hit the hit the mark on that one so that might look good just sitting right there it'll also cover up where I where I've done that work I know it looks a little crooked but it's really just the way I tucked it in so yeah pretty good and when I get this mounted I'm gonna split this video into two parts part one part two because I'm gonna show how I mounted it and how I ended up shoring all this up and getting it squared away and hopefully I can get the jamming in the game because it's been a while anyways folks on to the next step.